Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Cinema 4D S24. This is the brand new release from the folks at Magzone. And today we'll be looking at two things. The asset browser which has been revamped, pretty new and awesome. And then we'll talk about the placement tool. That one is going to change the way people work with Cinema 4D. And I cannot wait to see this in many other apps. So getting started, if you just go ahead and, you know, download a fresh copy or a trial version like we have right here, you can notice that the Cinema 4D s24 does have a tiny icon here now if we click on this icon it pops open the asset browser and we can search for stuff so if you're looking for things like objects cinema 4d files you're looking for example scene material nodes you can simply search for these things and the beautiful thing here is all of these things they do have keywords metadata and you can easily use those things to find stuff directly here so once you don't have anything selected and you go over here and let's say we type in the word fruit you would notice that you know we have fruit in terms of object and also fruit in terms of you know folders that contains materials that deals with fruit so if you also want to search for things based on several categories let's say based on objects you can go over to the object section and you can type maybe pen for example and you can see all of the pen that we have and if you're looking for things like materials you can search for that media nodes operators and scene and uh, one of the cool things with all of these things that we're talking about is you can search for these things and you can actually simply download them and drag them right into your scene so one thing that the folks at magazine have also done is instead of you to have a second installer file that installs your contents that existed within the content browser right now you don't need to do that all right right now you just simply do one simple installation and if there's any asset that you're looking for all you need to do is search for that asset you find it you download it directly onto your pc and you can actually get them right here so if you're using a trial version like we are doing right now you'll probably not be able to have access to some of these assets you can only have access to assets that have icons like this and if you'd like to download any of them so let's go over to where we have sitting go to the benches maybe chairs let's see if we can find some chairs maybe a chair like this if you like to download this just click on this button and it will download and you can see the progress of the download right here so this is the progress bar and it simply shows you how much it's downloading the download speed and you know when it's going to be done so this is very very nice you can categorize these things however you want and you can also choose to save any of these things that you consistently look for at every time you can choose to save them as smart search and if you're looking for stuff they've previously installed maybe you don't want to go through and search for these things one after the other all you need to do is click on this button go all the way down to where you have installed and click and once you do that this simply disappears so how do you find this just simply type the word yes and press the enter key and you'll be able to see all the things all right all the things that you've downloaded they're all right here so from here you can simply select these things like one two three or you can save them as smart search or you can simply group these things all right so with this done let's go ahead and take a look at how placement tool works so i'm just going to go ahead and move this right over to a point like so move this one right here so let's talk about that placement tool so if we click from the asset browser we can simply click and drag so you notice that chair that we created before we have it right here so we're just going to click and drag that right there and make sure that we have it selected press s on the keyboard to frame that in and where is our plane so i'm just going to go in and get a simple plane right there let's scale this plane a little bit more so i'm just going to scale this one right here scale this one right over there so i think we might be needing something more so let's actually go over to that installed section one more time and just simply type in the word yes and press the enter key and see if there's anything that we already downloaded before all right so we have this gift box i'm also going to go through download this or you know click and drag the gift box right into our scene and we have that so how do we play with the placement tool so for you to be able to play with the placement tool all you need to do is go over to where you have tools and you would notice they have the three different placement tools that you can work with the place scatter pen and also dynamic place now i don't need to go back and forth you know i don't really want to do all the going back to tools and doing that so i'm just going to tear this one off and bring it right around here how the place tool works is pretty easy so by default you can move things around if you hold down control you can click and make copies and if you click on the place tool this time okay you can also choose to rotate this and move them wherever you want but one thing to notice is we are having this intersecting with this object and this is not what we want so the place tool actually takes a look at the bounding boxes of your object and uses those bounding boxes to position things around so right now you see it's trying to figure out where the bounding box is but if you would like this thing to prevent collision all you need to do is go right here click on prevent collision let's actually 
you know let's close this one so you can go over here click on prevent collision click right here around the object and now you would notice it actually prevents any form of collision so we can also select this one and you notice it prevents collision prevents collision and simply places these things properly and this is by far one of the coolest things i've always wanted to see and uh, it's nice to see that cinema 4d now has it so you can do this with several parts of a model so if you select any other part of the model let's say there is a model you want let's select this one for example we can also do the same thing so we can move this around and at this point you can start placing things and you know if you're into things like set dressing you're trying to arrange your scene this is definitely going to come in very very handy so with this one here let's talk about the second one which is the scatter pen so for the scatter pen let's say for example you want to scatter a couple of things let's go over to the asset browser and you know get some fruits we did download the banana before so i'm just going to type in the word fruits and uh grab this banana one right here so with the banana selected i would simply drag and drop that directly within our object list you notice that we do have the banana so what do we do with this so what we can do is if we click on the scatter pen let's also close this so if we click on the scatter pen right now you notice it has a section which has to do with selection so depending on the selection that you have here we can go in and start painting these particular fruits so if I go in and start painting you can see that we can now paint the banana around now for those who would like to also you know uh, play with the parameters of course you can so if you want the radius to be a bit bigger of course you can do that but if you don't want to do the radius thing from there if you hold down your middle mouse button click and drag you can also change the radius if you also like to get maybe bigger counts we can also have that if you like this to be more like a splat on sort of distribution you know it just happens based on splatting yes that is also possible so we can have that so we have one splat there another splat here another splat there another splat there now if you don't want any of this of course you can just simply have fun working with this thing as it is but yes you would also notice that there is uh, some sort of intersection happening and this particular tool is for you to be able to place things on top of a surface and uh, scatter things easily so you can also load up a couple of things you would like to scatter so let's just simply go back and use the erase or the remove brush to remove all these ones that we've painted in okay so if you like to have more things you can go over to the object palette and you can drag all the things you want to scatter in so i can bring in the banana i can bring in the gift box and we can scatter these things so if we go right here i can reduce the brush size and you now notice that we begin to scatter just these two things at once so we can scatter these across if you have things like trees this is going to be very handy for vegetation and uh you know for landscaping as well so to remove things click on the remove remove these things however you want and this is pretty nice so let's talk about the dynamic place so how do you work with the dynamic place so for the dynamic place if we select the dynamic place right now you would notice that we now have some sort of quick approximation of all of the geometry that we have so there is this physics quick approximation that is going on and uh, this is to help us place things dynamically on a surface so how do we work with this one so for this one what i'm going to do is i will simply go back to the asset browser and within the asset browser i will look for the word pen so we downloaded a pen before so i'm just going to drag this pen out and uh, let's get this ball pen because i guess the ball pen might be really cool for this example so i'll get this ball pen right here and we can make copies of the ball pen hold down control click and drag click and drag click and drag 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 and we have these ones so with all the ball pen there i can select one and select the last one so if i select all of them and click on the dynamic place you would see that this approximates all of the bounding boxes or it simply approximates the geometry and right here you would notice that we have a gizmo that deals with two different transform type the scale which is used for clumping things together and also the rotate which is used for orientation so we can now rotate things across and you can see you know we have like real-time simulation going on there so let's take a look at this one so you can clump things like so you know cluster things together cluster things together and this is very very nice let's actually move this one over to a position and see what we can get so let's say we move all of them let's select the first one to the last one move them right over to a given position like this and let's see if it's going to you know have that dynamism on this particular surface let's select the dynamic place 
and let's see what we can get with it okay i'm going to scale this and let me bring this down all right so i noticed something it is also going directly into this object for some reason you know it doesn't really know that this is a bounded object so this is uh relative to the object that it has within the selection okay so right now if i move this all the way you notice that there's a bit of an approximation that is about to happen which you know gives a little bit of jitter around here but for the most part this seems to work but if you now choose to select this and you push it down you would also notice that it sort of tries as much as possible to calculate for all of these tiny tiny parts but overall this is a pretty cool tool and i really really like it so i wish to see this come over to several apps as well and uh, for anyone who wants to try this, you can simply go ahead and download a free copy of this tool, which you can get and you can use this for 14 days and do a lot of cool things with it. So a huge shout out to the folks at Magzone for making this one possible. And these tools are pretty nice to play with. So I would actually spend a lot of time playing with this one and use it to organize a couple of things. And this is quite wonderful to see. So this is more like it for those who like to play with this, or maybe you want to use this to create some interesting stuff. Link to this is going to be in the description where you can take a look at, you know, Cinema 4D S24, try it out, play with it, download a couple of assets, use it for your layout and tell me what you think about it in the comment section. And before we go, for those who like to play with parameters, of course, there's a couple of parameters right here that you can play with and you can also choose to visualize the colliders just in case. So let's say you want to visualize a collider, you want to see how, you know, the bounding boxes look like. You can use this to your own personal advantage so pretty cool things are right here tell me what you think about this in the comment section download it try it and tell me your thoughts and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.